Hello techies. In our previous tutorials, we have learned how to post a message in a channel by using an action called post message in a chart or channel action. And also we have learned how to retrieve the messages from the channel by using get messages action. Now in this session, we will learn how to reply to a post in a channel by using reply with a message in a channel action, which is available under Microsoft Teams action. Before that, let me show you a small scenario. Let me switch to Microsoft Teams and then I'm going for Teams over here. All right. There you can see I'm having Conteso, onboarding employees and build teams. Inside my Conteso, I'm having different channels such as general, default team member, another one in the operations. All right. Now, if you observe in my dev team members, I'm having some posts over here, such as welcome message. It's a subject. And there you can see, hi team, welcome to dev team. Now, if I want to reply to this message, how can I go ahead and reply for the particular message in a channel? There, I'm going to use the action called reply with a message in a channel. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. The main purpose of this action is to reply with a message in a channel. All right. Now, if you observe over here, the parameters, first one is the post as how you want to reply for a particular message in a channel as a flow bot or as an user. As we have seen the post as parameter in different videos earlier. Now I'm going to select post as as user and then if you see post in where I want to post this right obviously we are going to use the channel there I'm going to select the option called channel once you have selected the channel as post in we will get few more parameters such as message ID message team and channel this message ID we will get it from get messages where we are going to retrieve it right so this message ID is used to reply to me which message ID in our Microsoft Teams. There you can see for every message in my channel, I'm having a message ID. For that message, I want to reply it. That is message ID. And then the what is the message that you have to provide? So I'm going to give it as, hi team. Thank you for inviting the team members in the dev channel. I'm going to give the message over here and then you can observe the team I have to select as the another parameter. What is the team over here? Conteso is my team. I'm going to drop down that and then I'm going to select Conteso. And what is the channel? This is another parameter where I need to reply for the particular message from the particular channel. So in our case, dev team members is the channel. I'm going to select dev team members. Once the respective parameters have been provided, the output will be stored inside my variable that is reply with message to conversion response. All right. Now, before that, there is one more parameter that I'm having message ID. This message ID will get it by using the action called get messages action for a from the particular channel in a specific team. Okay. Let me click on save. Now, over here, if you observe, I'm having get messages, which we have seen in our previous tutorial. I'm going to enable this. And then let me double click on that one to see the parameters which we have given for the get messages. And now I'm having team as Conteso and the channel, I'm going to make it as dev team member. The reason is that we want to retrieve all the messages which are available in Conteso team in the particular channel that is dev team members. And then we are going to reply for that messages, right? And the output will be stored inside my variable that is get messages from channel response. All right, let me click on save. Now in my get messages, we'll have the list of messages, list of messages that we have, right? For that to go through each and every message ID, I'm going to use the loop that is for each action. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. There you can see over here for each action will be iterating through the list of values, which we got it from get message action. 
I'm going to select the variable that is get messages from channel response and then I'm going to select inside that I'm having a value. I'm going to select that for for each item we are having in the particular get messages from channel response. I'm going to store inside the variable that is current message and then I'm going to click on save. Now this current message having an ID, right? That ID I'm going to pass inside my reply with message channel. This reply with a message action, I'm going to drag inside the for each. And then let's double click on that. Once again, the action called reply with a message in a channel. Now, whatever the message ID, we are going to get it from the current message. I'm going to use it as a ID over here. So I'm going to select the variable over here for the message ID. There, I'm going to select current message dot ID. All right. Now, if you observe all the parameters are in position, all the inputs we have given properly and the output will be stored inside my variable that is reply with a message to conversion response. Let me click on save. Now, let me go back once again the Microsoft Teams. There you can see I'm having only one message in my dev team members. That is welcome message with hi team, welcome to dev team. So that we'll get a reply over here whenever I am going to run the desktop flow. All right, let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. As a first step, it is trying to retrieve all the messages from the, from the particular channel that is dev team members. And then you can see it is going through the loop. And then it is trying to reply for the particular message in a channel, right? What the text we have given? We have given some messages over there. Now, the flow has executed successfully. Now, before going to look into the flow variable that is reply with message to conversion response, I will show you the output over here in Microsoft Teams. I'm having the replies over here such as, hi team, thank you for the inviting the team member in the dev channel. But if you observe, I have deleted some of the messages, but still I have got all the replies over here in the particular dev team members channel. Now, if you closely observe, the first thing is that get messages for channel response. Let's double click on that. There you can see I'm having the count of three. That's the reason it has gone through each and every item in the get messages channel response. And then it has replied for each and everything for that message with reply message in a channel. Now, we will see the flow variable that is reply with message to conversional response. Let's double click on that. There you can see I'm having the properties for this variable such as ID, E tag, message type is message over here, created date and time, lost modified date and time, lost edited date and time, deleted date and time, subject, summary, chart ID, importance is normal, and the web URL you can see over here and the policy violation, event detail, and from body is the main thing over here. From you can see application, that is blank, device is blank, and the user is so and so thing. And the body you can see, what is the message that we have sent it? The content type is HTML. Let's me click on more. There you can see I'm having content type is HTML, and the content is, what is the content we have given? Hi team, thank you for inviting the team members into the dev channel. And the channel identity, we can see the channel ID over here. That is so that is the, at the rate of thread.tac v2, it is, we got it. Do we have any attachments? No. Mentions? No. Reactions? Nothing. And the message link, it has been given. And the conversion ID, we got it. All right. I hope you understand how to work with reply with a message in a channel as part of this tutorial.